Good morning, folks. A lot of twos in that date today, eh? Well, we've got two stories on Nova Science, two big quakes, two recurrence levels for solar flares and MIT, too late on exoplanet science. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun relatively quiet. Minor motions to filaments and coronal arcs on the north, no big flares or CMEs. But we are re-entering a geomagnetic storm condition this morning, as the solar wind speed sustained its elevated conditions and even amplified a bit overnight. Minor solar storm should fade away today. Two bigger quakes starting with the set of blood echoes, all on the screen here struck deep, even the big one, and a 6.3 south of New Zealand near the Antarctic coast. Let's start the articles with an appetizer of nachos. The nachos instrument is designed to catch sulfur emission from the ground during pre-volcanic seismic activity in hopes of predicting a major volcano for the first time. Up next, MIT, a day too late as we just learned yesterday that this metal rain concept on exoplanets may be a goose chase. It's okay, they do this with studies of Earth's magnetic field as well. Pretty much a confirmation here of previous solar flare recurrence schemes. These are globally on the star rather than Earth-facing, with Carrington and Halloween level recurrences at a century in about 30 years. Of course, on average, Every other one would hit us, so that's where the 150 to 200 year Carrington recurrence on Earth comes from. Up next, it's almost an inside joke for a veteran observer at this point, or at least anyone who has seen our disaster documentary. I am doubly astounded, first at how much detail they're able to squeeze out of these observations, and second, how much they still don't know NOVA events. It's extra juicy when they're confounded by the pre-NOVA stellar and environmental conditions. Lastly, folks. So many got excited and I really can't blame you. They make it seem like there's a star that the world is watching and expecting to go boom. There's not. This is a puff piece about a neutrino detector, and while there are stars of interest across the galaxy, there is absolutely no star in particular that they're talking about here, just sort of a we are ready when it happens sort of thing. And a letdown in the article title. But we greatly appreciate your support. Check our playlist on the channel if you haven't seen them. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.